the question is rna with the highest proportion of proteins is so let's first understand there are three types of rna that we have the mrna trna and the rrna mrna stands for messenger rna trna stands for transfer rna and rrna stands for ribosomal rna so you have three types of rna that are there each one has a particular function uh, your mrna is your messenger rna what it does is from the nucleus where you have a new coding of a set of amino acids or a set of proteins it takes that coding from the dna and transfers it to, to the cytoplasm once it comes to the cytoplasm what it does is it uh, attaches itself to the transfer rna wherein the transfer rna what it does is it takes it to the ribosomal rna and gives it to the rrna so uh, this entire procedure is translation and transcription that is going to be dealt with some at some other point in time and at, a, at another place now what we need to remember over here is the trna which is known as the transfer rna you need to remember certain things about it when you look at the structure of the transfer rna you have five domains the first one is your amino acid your three dash n where in where you have the termination so the three dash n is wherein you know that it is a c c a that means over there your protein is not going to be coding anymore that is the end of your amino acid sequence you are not going to have any more sequence over there then you have your 5 dash n okay so you, everything you have a 3 dash and a 5 dash so you have your 3 dash n and you have your 5 dash n in addition to that you have a t loop which is there over here then you have a variable loop because that what is this variable loop variable loop is basically when you have a coding for proteins you are going to have the amino acid sequences in a particular way this variable for each protein or each amino acid the sequence is different it can be cca acc ata aga anything of that sort so this variable loop that is present that loop is going to be different for different amino acids that are going to be coded and that is why that variable loop is variable in nature because it is somewhere where you are going to have difference of sequences okay of codons then you have the anticodon loop now what is this anticodon loop is basically you have a codon and you have an anticodon the codon is what is present in the dna so your anticodon what is it going to do is it is a replica of the dna so if your dna has t t a and this is your codon your anticodon is going to be your complementary bases which are present that can be a a t so that is going to be your anticodon so your anticodon is basically going to determine what is the type of sorry your codon is rather going to determine what is the type of uh, sorry sorry when you go into transcription it is your anticodon which is going to decide what is your codon going to be okay so if i have a deficiency of a particular type of protein my transfer rna what will it do it will identify that this particular protein is deficient and this protein has the set, has a set of amino acids and the amino acids has this particular set of codons so what will happen is my transfer rna it will realize that this particular set of codons are absent so i need to ensure that the dna realizes that these codons need to be produced so it will produce it will form the anticodons to that and once it forms the anticodons to that it will then indicate it will then inform the dna the dna then what it does is it produces the codons and from those codons you have the messenger rna which is formed that is the reason why the trna is a very important uh, rna in the entire cell now like i told you the trna is going to determine which identifies which proteins are deficient and it is going to uh, inform the dna that you have to produce these codons so it is able to identify the codons which are missing as a result it is producing those many different types of anticodons for a particular amino acid that is the reason why the trna is the answer to the question over here because it it is able to modify the codon bases or rather the bases of the anticodon based on or in necessary necessity to whichever protein or amino acid needs to be coded and that is the reason the answer to the question over here is the trna because it is able to produce those many types of bases in order to produce a particular amino acid okay